Hey everyone, welcome back to the Sunday vlog. I hope you're having a great day. Um, been working on these paintings for this show and <clears throat> I, I tend to do something almost automatically and I thought I would share it with you because it makes a big difference when it comes to mark making and scratching through the surface. This painting I have behind me is a perfect example. If I want to have dark lines where I can scrape back through, I use an underpainting of dark. So if I want to have a really light painting, I start really dark. It's sort of counterintuitive because as you can see here, when I cover up black or a really dark color with a white paint or a really light paint, I can then scratch back through to create lines and marks and I can control things. I can adjust values and things by having knowing that this dark is underneath there. As opposed to this area, so this area here is really just a light, it's got several coats, but underneath is a very light color and it doesn't matter if I scratch through here, you, you can't really see anything because it's just light on light. So it's just a quick tip, makes a giant difference. I love the idea of putting things together that are opposites. You know, if you're gonna do a dark painting, start light. And if you're gonna do a light painting, start dark. It's kind of exciting to like cover dark colors with light. And it's kind of terrific to take light colors and dump dark paint on it. Just that alone is gonna increase the energy of what you're working on. Anyway, so let me know in the comments what you think about this. Do you do this? Do you think about uh, where you're going, whether you wanna end up with a light painting or, or a dark painting, and do you do anything? What are your tips and tricks around that? I would love to know, we'd all love to know. Uh, you guys, thanks so much for being here. Um, I have a link down below. I have this pretty cool like little mini course on color. We've been getting a lot of people asking about color and uh, we get so many comments and I've just got this little mini course. I never really promote it, um, but there's a link down below. It goes over the most important aspects of color and um, you know, it's something, you know, we, we dive into and I, I think, Knowing this information in this mini course, uh, can, it can be a game changer for your art. So check it out. And um, thanks for being here. And I hope you get out today and um, get to the studio and make some art. All right, talk to you soon. Hey everyone, if you found this helpful, I have a whole lot more to teach, share and inspire you with every single week. So join the Art to Life YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below. Okay, let's do this. Awesome.